So today we're working on some ice machines and uh, they're, um, I call them the, like the, they're made by North Star. They're pretty, pretty cool ice machine. Flaker, it's for a fish company. And uh, um, the electricians uh, kind of know what they're doing with it, with it, but in reality they're just trying to follow a schematic that's kind of hard to understand. Um, but kind of went through it all with them and got got them in the right direction yesterday. So today we're just uh, on that same path, just kind of wiring them up, getting getting them to where they can actually operate without any alarms. There's a bunch of of um, pre-checks you have to do when going through uh, the operation you have to make sure all the I/O is wired incorrectly. And if the I/O is not if, if the the I/O is not there, either you have to disable the input in the, in the PLC or put the jumper on so it thinks it's there if it's if, it, if it's not. So a lot of these cases, these ice machines are built for several. Uh, several users, different bins uh, that are connected to different, uh, different, a lot of things, and you just got to make sure you wire configure it for that um, that bin setup. So that's what we're doing today. Hopefully, we'll get one running. If we do, we'll, we'll put it on video for you and, and uh, let you guys all see what we're working on. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Alliance Tech. Today we started up two North Star ice machines and the whole process went overall pretty well. Uh, we had a couple hiccups along the way with uh, electrical, but on every startup you always have uh, problems with electrical. Um, the schematics say one thing, electricians install them another way, or I don't, I don't know how it goes, but we end up fixing it. Um, so what I do, I'm, I'm a technician for an industrial refrigeration company, Alliance Industrial Refrigeration Services. And uh, what I do is um, service startup, a little bit of construction, not much, just kind of helping out pretty much. Uh, and uh, we maintain the industry, food processing, cold storage, uh, anything that has to do with refrigeration, we're there. Um, in, in uh, the past, I've started up ice machines and cold storage facilities. And, and uh, what's so unique about these uh, ice machines is they're constant harvest ice machines. Uh, the normal ice machine um, has a thing called a harvest cycle. And uh, you usually have a freeze cycle of around 20 to 30 minutes to freeze the ice or, depend, or how, however long it is. And as soon as uh, that ice is it's at, a right, at its right thickness, it goes through a harvest cycle. The harvest cycle heats up or does its harvest and drops that ice into the bin. Well, these ice machines, they have a constant harvest to where they have a chipping blade that rolls around the barrel. And the barrel has refrigerant in it and it freezes the water that's on the other side of the chipping blade. And there's a little wiper that wipes off the excess water off the, off the ice that may have May be there so when the chipping blade comes along it's nice clean ice and they uh, complete this process with uh, ozone water and a little bit of salt mixture in, inside the hopper of the of the ice machine and it works beautifully it drops it, it, it probably dumps about you know two three hundred pounds of ice every hour 
So it's kind of making a lot of ice. And these companies that need this ice really depend on it. They can't, they can't um, make their product without it. So, um, therefore, um, they have two different <clears throat> ice machines. They have one, one that has a bin, the bin style ice machine. They have, um, to where they have these carts that roll underneath there. You can drop the ice in the carts. And the other one's more for bagging, packing ice. And it's the same style ice machine, so it just it drops the ice. Just just a, a little way of dispensing, a different way of dispensing the ice. And these ice machines are connected to a, a, uh, a refrigeration system that serves a lot of other uh, uh, a lot of other tenants. And this refrigeration system, which I will be doing another video on, um, actually. Um, uh, has a, a bunch of slave PLCs all over the all over the all over the plant, and this slave PLC we had to tie into and tie the start stop, and the solenoid inputs and outputs for the refrigeration system, so we can get refrigerant to the actual ice machines. And uh, I uh, my our construction team did a wonderful job laying out the piping, and uh, our insulators insulated the piping very well. Our panel division built the boxes and everything around it and uh did a really good job and our engineering team uh they're they're the best in the industry um so if you um you guys want to see more videos please like subscribe and hit the little bell icon and i'll see you in the next one